The father of a woman protesting the Dakota Access Pipeline says her arm was severely injured by a concussion grenade thrown by police at 4.30 a.m. on Monday. Lawyer Wayne Milansky said the grenade exploded at his daughter Sophia's left forearm. The blast reportedly destroyed all of the muscle, soft tissue, nerves and arteries between the elbow and wrist and some of the bone. It's unknown if doctors can recover functional use of the limb. However, police denied using grenades, instead suggesting Wolanski may have been injured by propane bottle explosives made by protesters. In another incident on Monday at 3 a.m., officers noticed two men and a woman behind a barricade near a burned vehicle left over from a previous clash on Backwater Bridge. They refused to come out, so police opened fire with non-lethal rounds. Police saw more people approaching the area, including someone rolling silver cylinders. They said there was an explosion. The protesters reportedly pulled a woman from underneath the vehicle. On investigation of the area, authorities discovered propane tanks rigged as improvised explosive devices, as well as slingshots and rocks. According to reports, police are investigating if the explosives are related to injuries suffered by a female protester.